Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. Today we're taking a look at some new modes of racing hardware. That is their SGP sequential shifter. This is something that I've been waiting for it to come out for a very long time. Uh, and a big thank you to Moza Racing for hooking me up with this. So, of course, obviously we have all of the goods from Moza. The aircraft grade aluminum, the neutral selector, as well as adjustable uh, damper and height and uh, replaceable shift nuts and some buttons but we're not going to take a look at the box because we need to actually get into uh, the actual shifter itself and it's right here this sequential shifter this thing is something i've been waiting for because you guys know when i used to do competitive drifting i used sequential on my old fanatec so i didn't miss gears and uh this thing Just sounds and feels so good in my hands. Can't wait to get this on the rig. But a lot of cool features with this thing. Obviously, other than, you know, what you'd expect from Moza. Really nice aircraft-grade aluminum, the logos, and everything like that. We have two programmable buttons that uh, light up, just like my uh, V2 RS wheel and all those. They're uh, programmable, you know, RGB buttons. So we, of course, have, you know, your, your transmission, your input, if you're using, like, the... Uh, control box which i'm going to try to use just a control box or you can plug it directly into the pc if you need to be and then you have this neutral lever which is not on any other shifter that i know about for sequential it does have an exchangeable knob but this does unscrew and you can replace it with maybe a taller one or something like that and we also have right here some uh, adjustment holes to increase the height of that so that's something we're gonna have to take a look at and see if we're gonna need to raise it up if this thing's gonna get in our way or whatnot but just the sheer feel of this thing and how it looks is awesome big thank you again to moza racing for being you know a continued sponsor and partner of the channel and you know we don't just have like just a smooth you know uh arm we got some nice cutouts in there then some good styling and everything like that so something incredibly awesome we got a lot of mounting options on the bottom so that's something that we're also going to need to look at too but i just can't get over this this nice Click. I wonder how it's going to feel on the chassis. So let's go get this thing on the rig. We've already taken off of our old, uh, I shouldn't say old, our H pattern shifter. And we're going to go put the sequential on and we're going to go full send. All right. So we do have the sequential shifter now mounted onto the rig. It's a little offset back from my actual handbrake, but that's just how I wanted it to be positioned. But for my positioning right here, it's actually quite nice with the height where it's at. This actually doesn't get in the way or anything. I can access the buttons really easily if I want to without even looking. That's kind of naturally where I go. And I know the difference between obviously my handbrake and my shifter. I mean, there'll probably be times where I go to go downshift. I'm like, oh, that's not my shifter. But, you know, it's seamless. It's plugged in. Um, it works perfectly out of the box. This click, just the feel of it is just super amazing. So we're going to go full send. And what better way to do that then with a pro comp car on a toge road because we're going to be using that shifter a lot in the toge so this is one of their new shadow run pro cars their v8 s13 different camera view for you guys so you guys can kind of see the shifter fully and you can still see my wheel cam and everything like that so let's go full send and the beauty with this car is you use clutch to get going then once you get going, you can ratchet it through the gears like you would an actual sequential. So you can really, truly utilize ooh, this new Moza sequential shifter. And when you're in a competition aspect, being able to just quickly drop gears like that without having to worry if you're going to uh, miss a gear is super nice. Makes your shift timing way, uh, way quicker. And that's why a lot of... Uh, a lot of the pro cars have, you know, that style shifter in it. I've been super excited waiting for this to come out. So super excited to bring you guys this out today. And of course, make sure you guys check the link in the description box below for you guys to pick up your own on the website. But coming in at around 125 bucks US, this thing is uh, quite nice. The, the feel of it is super, super tactile. It's really nice just to get that physical click. And I didn't have to raise it up, but if your setup determines you want to raise it, you can. And this car just feels super good too. So it's definitely something I've been super excited waiting for it to come out because like I said, when I was in ESDA and stuff like that, 
I need to get back into more competitive drifting. I utilized the dirt, um, a sequential shifter a lot more because of the fear of, say, a miss shift or something like that, or a shifter failure because my Fanatec always had issues with miss shifting into the wrong gears and stuff like that with the sensors and everything in there. They never had that issue with the Moza shifter, but it is still really nice to just be able to quickly grab gears. And it's also something satisfying about just like not dying, just driving and just ratcheting through the gears. Because it kind of gives that, you know, super cool, you know, feeling of just, you know, I'm going to come through here. I'm just going to grab a gear real quick, handbrake, and uh, start sliding. I don't know why my cursor's up there. Oh, it's because my mouse is up here and I'm shaking my rig. I should probably uh, put the mouse down there. So this Shadow Realm car is actually super cool. I haven't done much with these new Shadow Realm Pro cars. I probably should uh, drive a bunch of these and maybe do some... Uh, test drives on these cars if you guys want to see some test drives of the shadow run pro cars let me know down in the comment section down below of course you know boston being a uh, also a partner here on the channel that's where you can get all your drift needs this is a game changer when it comes to shifters and with them having the two buttons down here and this i went to see i went for the handbrake this lever here, which you can't really program here in a set of Corsa. So I got to look into using, finding a way to actually get neutral in a set of, I know there's other games that you can actually with rally car, with rally racing and stuff like that, which, you know, you know, we're going to be taking this probably onto EAWRC because instead of using paddles, we'll use this to run some rally, uh, some rally stages. Oh, we just dropped the tire there. I'm having so much fun with this. So make sure you guys check the description box below all the information and the link for you to go pick up your own if you want. Uh, if you don't, that's okay too. But I definitely would recommend it if you're looking for a good, solid sequential shifter. This thing uh, has every bell and whistle and checks all the boxes for me. It's also super compact and very uh, narrow, which is great for a lot of compact rigs and stuff like that. So 10 out of 10 we recommend, obviously. And it just, you know, fully completes. Obviously, I had the fully completed Moses setup before with the H pattern. But for this, oh, man, we uh, definitely have this fully going. So now may I uh, set up a secondary rig with one of my lighter wheelbases for uh, maybe a second person here to uh, run here on all oh, my setups. Ooh. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys want to keep seeing more, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, a lot of new things coming here on the channel. I know there's been a little bit of lax recently, but a lot of big things coming. And a lot of uh, fun content and stuff that I'm um, thinking about bringing out for you guys. As well as uh, possibly a secondary channel for not just drifting content. So... Keep uh, following me on social medias for more information on that. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Ooh, get a little throttle blip. I like that. <laughs>